So moving into the kitchen, it's very well equipped. Uh, we have a microwave here. We've got the Dometic under counter refrigerator with a full width freezer box and the uh, Thetford um, oven system. But uh, one of the features I do like in this particular model range is the additional work surface. Very uh, user friendly, very easy to uh, lift up. But when you come to lower that down, a lot of people just grab this arm here to lower it. Well, you don't have to do it that way. There's a couple of little arms that you just press in. It allows you then just to lower it down. So when it's raised, just move it to the side, operate those two triggers, release it back down. It's magnetized so it holds in place. The microwave, very simple in its use. The quickest way to turn the microwave on is hit this third button up or the second button down, depends which way you want to do. It says quick start. If I press that, I get a minute on the clock. If I wanted two minutes, I hit it for a second time. Uh, the counter starts counting down. And if I wish to stop that, just press that button there where the counter's now stopped at a certain time. And if I wish to continue, just press the start again. Or if I wish to stop using the operation of the microwave, just press that again. And it now clears the clock back to zero. Very simple system. Uh, nothing more than that, but do watch uh, further videos that might be on that particular item. Uh, and I'm going to now move on to the Dometic undercounter fridge. Thank you. So on the Dometic fridge, uh, we've got an on off switch, which is this button here. And then we've got a warning system. So that's a, a, a failure of the system in some way, a battery operation, gas operation and mains. We also now have the auto mode. And then this is the thermostat. So let's turn the refrigerator on. So it's touch sensitive. So if you press and hold that just for a second, you should get illumination of all the lights and it will go back to how this uh, refrigerator was last used. In this particular case, we're on the auto setting, which means it prioritizes mains electrics on and above gas, which would be the next way it would try to operate if mains was not available. And if that wasn't available, then we've obviously got the 12 volt system because it recognizes that we're going to go uh, obviously traveling from destination, home to destination. And then this is the thermostat control. And it's this little thermometer here that you press to change that. So that's it's uh, number one, number two, number three, four and five. The higher up the scale we go, the colder the refrigerator is going to get. So that's maximum. In other words, it's coldest setting. So therefore that's minimum. Um, more for winter use. That's probably for spring and autumn, typically. And then hopefully that should be your summer use. Um, the only other thing is now just to open up the refrigerator door itself. So you operate it by moving it rearwards. You can see it's slightly sprung loaded. So you just move it like so to open up the refrigerator. And on top of the fridge door itself, you can now see what I'm referring to. That's what you're doing. You can hold that uh, trigger back by moving it one more click and that now doesn't protrude out. So therefore what you're relying on is a magnet to keep the door uh, closed. And that's what you'd use probably when you arrive on site rather than having to keep on causing the catch to release. Uh, another feature that you have on the door is how we keep this open in storage situation. Uh, so it stops any mildew or stale air from uh, being in the, in the refrigerator, making it really smelly. Uh, so it's just two little, travel, uh, two little catches that extend outwards, as you can see. Very simple in that operation. Top and bottom, and they just catch on to the two little latches. Um, on the actual refrigerator, if I wish to change one of the modes, uh, I, I don't want it to work on mains electrics. I'll demonstrate the alarm, just so you can see what the alarm sounds like. So that's the alarm noise. You get the blue light underneath the triangle and you get this audible sound, which is saying I can't work on that particular system. I've gone into fail because it's not available. I haven't got a tow vehicle available. So press the mode again and that would now be working on gas. So all self-igniting, you don't have to press anything else, it just does it for you. And then back onto the mains or back onto the auto mode where it will select between the three options. Okay, so just inside the cabinet itself, when you open up the door, you've got a full width freezer box. And this particular base is removable. Uh, so you're removing the door and the base itself. And that would allow you to use it as a larger fridge should you need to. Um, because we call them a larder unit at that point. You could uh, you can buy additional shelves to make more shelving in there should you uh, like that. 
And one of the advice things I'd like to give uh, is not to travel with heavy weights in the door pockets. If you've got six pints of milk on that particular door pocket in transit, there's a good chance it will fracture the, uh, the plastic on the uh, top hinge points. So just be advised, please travel with heavy weights on the metal uh, shelves themselves. Only in transit, as soon as you arrive back on site, I haven't got a problem with the door pockets being used. It's just while in transit so that you don't cause them to get damaged. So that is the refrigerator. I hope you found that to be useful. Thank you.